Hey folks, Jonathan here, working on the flywheel, getting it ready to put it back on the engine. Uh, had to do a little little machine in here. Had to open this up a little bit around the outside so it wouldn't hit any springs. And we also had to shorten the hub up just a little bit so it wouldn't stick in too far and hit the uh, pilot bushing. Now, as for the pilot bushing, I've got that done. That is a Chevrolet bushing pressed into the Ford bushing. I just took it out and I machined the Ford bushing out which will fit the Chevrolet. That way if I have to replace it, I just put another Chevrolet back in there. Uh, but we're going to try to get the clutch brush plate stuff on now. Got a little more work we're going to have to do to get everything fabricated, but it's working out. All right. So here's what we're dealing with. You see we got uh, some paint in there. Must have been no it painted. It had to be. Uh, <laughs> anyway, what we've got is a bunch of fitting and rust and paint. I mean, what is paint in there? Scott. I think it's just overspray from Scott painting the frame. But anyway, so we're going to try to turn these pits and stuff out. Uh, we've got quite a bit left. To, it don't look like it's ever been turned before. so. We'll see how it works out. All right, all right. Here's what we got. I'm just doing it just a little bit. You can see how bad it is. It is terrible. So we got Noah to get this straightened out. Noah, straighten this out. Okay, I got Noah in there, and he is actually machining some pieces down for me. We're gonna grind this out. We're gonna put some nuts in here. That's machined down. We're gonna run the bolt in. Uh, leave a little loose we're going to preheat this and, and weld them bolts or the nuts in now the other side I've got done and all I ended up doing there I drilled all the way through and after I drilled through I realized the casting wasn't thick enough to actually run a uh, to, to thread it so I actually tapped it anyway but I threaded it from the out back side and I just threaded the, the bolt in tightened it up and then put a nut on it. That way it would squeeze it together because there's not enough threads in it to hold it by itself. So top's done, bottoms are right. We ended up having to use a GM long throwout bearing. Here's a short and then make one that's just a little bit longer than this one. And we ended up using it to get the, the throw we needed because this is such a long bell housing. So that's done. We used a Chevrolet fork, uh, Ford bell housing, Ford uh, pressure plate, and of course the the flywheel, and then uh, the GM uh, clutch and dart bearing, fork, and transmission. So all we've got to do is something on this one. You know, it's it's butted up good. It's tight. We just got to get something in here to get extra bolt in. And you know, I've ran years back. Uh, four speeds and three speeds with three ears on them, one ear missing, and they held up fine. But we want to do this just just because I want to. And the center hole in this bell housing and this transmission are exact, so this thing slides in perfect. There's you know there's no side to side up down to play anything like that. So this is going to be just fine. So if we get this other one done, and then we can uh, we can actually set the engine in, and that's what we're sort of waiting on. We want to get it down in the frame and start getting things hooked up. Okay, folks, we've got the uh, engine in, and you can see the clearance on the oil filter, so that's no problem. That's a long one, too. I can get a shorter one, but that one I can put on and take off, no problem. We did get the uh, fuel, new fuel pump on, and we've got everything where it needs to be. Uh, we're just going to continue to put parts on. You know, clean stuff up that needs cleaned up and paint it. We should be ready to put the pedals on and everything when we get ready to, or well, we'll probably have to set the body back on first, but uh, the only thing I've got to do is I, I actually set that pedal up for a uh, Ford fork, and I've got a GM fork in it now. It's a clutch fork, so we'll just have to do a little changing on it. Not a big, you know, issue there. Uh, 
I have got these made up. Actually, Noah machined them off for me. Uh, we'll have three of them on here, and I'm going to preheat and weld these nuts on. Uh, we're not going to worry, you know, a whole lot about it, and then we'll just touch it back up. But uh, like I said, that it would work fine with the three, but we want to go ahead and do four, and to make sure. And I'm going to be making a rear cross member, of course. I'm going to change this uh, mount out. The mount is not any good. And the sensor is actually broke for the speedometer. This was for an electronic speedometer. So, you know, now you can run GPS speedometers and stuff. So I, I usually just run a GPS. So regular GPS, and it shows you anyway. So I've gotten so used to that with my rollbacks and, you know, and trucks and stuff. So. Uh, anyway, coming together pretty good now. It should all this stuff here will will go together quick. We've got you know radiators ready. Uh, we just got to do the hoses and uh, belt. Uh, generators done already. Cleaned up, painted. Starters the same way. Cleaned up, painted, ready to put on. And uh, everything's looking good. We got the headers done. We just got to got to finish the welds up and we'll paint them. And they'll be ready to put on. Uh, hoping to have it painted here soon, but we've got to fight around the weather for that, make sure that we get the weather right. So, uh, anyway, so I had to go back to the doctor today, and they've done some more work on uh, a place on my back, and uh, trying to get everything figured out. Uh, I have put on some weight. Uh, I haven't smoked anything since uh, not this past Monday, the mo but the Monday before that, so this is, what, Wednesday now, so it's been uh, a week and two days, and uh, believe it or not, I put on eight pounds that quick, so I'm going to have to slow down and be a little bit more careful about what I eat, uh, maybe quit, quit eating so much candy here, uh, because that's sort of what I've been using to, uh, uh, you know, keep my mind off of it, but anyway, uh, we'll get it, it, you know, quitting smoking is not... Not fun to do. Uh, like I said, I went from, uh, you know, as I in increased over my lifetime, I started smoking when I was 13. You know, I, I smoked more and more and more, and I was up to four packs a day. And uh, that's all, you know, shameful, but I mean, you know, I'm, I'm not going to BS anyone. I'll be honest with them. So, but, uh, but yeah, four packs a day, and I just quit cold turkey and you know there's going to be side effects from that but you know we can live with them we're going to work out whatever we got to work out so but uh anyway uh i am going to put my email address down in the in the description below here and for anybody that's uh you know if i can help them in any way trying to quit you know i'm not saying that i'm worthy of helping anyone uh but you know I haven't had any issues. I haven't had any real, you know, wants to to smoke a cigarette. You know, I I uh, joke around about it, but I mean, I don't think I could actually pick one up and smoke it without possibly even getting sick. So, but anyway, uh, I'm you know definitely not going to talk bad to anybody that does smoke because I mean, you know, for one thing, it's your definitely your choice. And, uh, but if I can help anybody in any way, let me know. All right. I appreciate everybody watching, and we'll be back on this thing. I, you know, sorry not to get a lot done. We did get the rotors or the drums turned. Uh, let me grab him. I don't know if I showed him once they was done. Yeah, here's the one that you was uh, looking at that was painted red. Uh, Noah done this one. This was the first, first drum he's turned on his own, so he done a really good job on this one. And uh, so it's... Uh, ready to go we got them both nice and smooth and clean uh, painted we got the bearings all completely cleaned I'll show you them we've got them all cleaned up and ready to pack uh, I want to get the numbers off these things and find out what bearings they actually used uh, I'm not sure if they used the, the Mustang bearings or something special or a combination of you know more than one different bearing I don't know or uh, we will uh, we'll check and find out though. But they're in really good shape. They just need packed. Uh, everything else, you know, like I said, 
all the brake parts are going to be brand new, the new hoses, all new hardware. You know, we turned our, our drums, we got a new master cylinder, so when the lines are done, you know, the brake system will be safe and as new, so, uh, or as good as new, so shouldn't have any issues there. And we're just you know, slowly keep knocking it out, and I'll do some more video tomorrow and hopefully uh, get a little farther along. All right, and oh, the uh, the Franklin. I uh, went ahead and ordered tires for the rear. I want to go ahead and get tires and tubes in it. Uh, not sure if the gas tank's going to be any good, but we want to try to get it to where we can uh, fire it up and and move it around some. Uh, I, I really want to. I'm looking forward to driving that a little bit. Uh, you know, it's mechanical brakes, so we don't have to you know worry about running through a brake system on it. Uh, I don't know how well it's going to stop, but you know what they say, if the brakes don't stop you, something will. Uh, that would be really fun in a wooden frame car, the, uh, you know, hitting a wooden frame tree, I guess. But anyway, we're going to, uh, we're going to play with it here soon, but I want to keep trying to get this finished up, so. Anyway, I uh, appreciate everybody watching, and I'll do more tomorrow. Alright, bye.